Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing. Today I am looking at the Easy Stone TV box, the T95Z Plus. Uh, this is a little kit that came with it. It also came with a little keyboard as well. Uh, this kit at the moment is available on Amazon uh, UK for £60.99p. If you don't want the keyboard, you can get it for $49.99, so basically just this $49.99. And on US, it is $63.99 for the TV box on its own, or with the controller, it's $79.99. Okay then, so let's uh, just go straight into it. So the box just slides off, and then it's a very nice box actually, very well designed. So straight away we are greeted by the um, Android box itself. This is a optical, so that's got eight cores inside of it. I've got another one downstairs, which is only four cores. So I'm hoping that this will be a bit quicker. And uh, this is actually for a friend. This is uh, they don't they didn't have Amazon, so they asked me to buy it for them. I don't know what they're going to use it for, but yes, um, they agreed to let me. Uh, do an unboxing of it for you guys so you guys can actually have a little look and uh, see what we uh, what we got so now we've got a plug sorry I was just trying to open that up in the background uh, the remote to be honest with you with this uh, other remote we probably won't be using that and HDMI cable and of course the user manual so let's just actually get straight in and have a little look at this. So very nice design. Right, there's my hand there. I'm a six foot three guy. Um, average size hands. So yeah, very nice looking. Just grab the tape measure now. All right, so from the widest angle, it's just under five inches. Or if you want to do it in centimeters, it is um, basically 12 centimeters. Um, bang on pretty much. So yeah, right in front we just got the little logo. There is this light strip all the way around. You can just see it on the camera there. That uh, lights up and does all fancy stuff. On this side we have got an SD card slot, USB 2. Then on the back we have the HDMI out, the power and obviously audio and video. And then we've got uh, the first USB port on the left the Ethernet and optical sound. So very nice looking device, uh, very light. Hopefully it is uh, quite speedy. Let's uh, plug them all in and see what he looks like. Okay, just before I fully do this, uh, HDMI cable is plugged in and it lights the ring up blue. Obviously no power, so it's not on. But a few things to note. The power cable is um, just uh, literally is like three foot and one inch and the HDMI cable is about two inches longer so bear that in mind when you buy this you might either want a new power brick because it's only a standard um, end on it uh, same as the HDMI cable or you might get away with it putting it close to your TV at the end of the day power cables are close to them also here is the fact oh actually let's do this controller so here is a remote first um, just a bog standard remote, you've got your function buttons at the top there uh, and everything else. Sorry about the desk, obviously I've just set this up and yeah, also here is the Easy Stone controller. Very light, um, I popped the back off already so there's a back, couple of grips either side and then it requires two AA batteries and right by there is the little uh, USB dongle to make this work on any device. Uh, obviously this device will be, uh, that'll be going in like USB port one. Uh, both of them require two double A's, uh, triple A's, sorry. Um, that is what I am now looking for, so uh, bear with me. So this is the interface here. I am currently using the standard remote, not the um, keypad one. Um, just plugged it in now using my capture card and the audio will probably be a little bit different here. So we've got the KD player, browse, apps, music, settings, clean memory, 
Google Store video as the main features. I haven't added anything else in the, in here. I'm not too sure what that is yet. Looks like Internet Explorer. Oh, actually, that's the KDE player on the left. That's the logo there. So I'm assuming this is like a quick menu. YouTube looks like File Manager. Unsure what these two are. So yeah, this. Um, Let's actually just get straight in. Let's have a look, a little look at the KD player. And uh, it's preparing its first run, as we can see. Again, um, this is for a friend. Not entirely sure what he wants uh, this for. So, inside here, there is two gigabytes of RAM, and it's saying 16 gigabytes of ROM, which basically means, um, I think this average is saying internal memory. Uh, it's running Android 7.1. It has the newest advanced Amalog 912 Optical Cortex A5364 bit running up to 2 gigahertz um, ultra high frequency. This is um, reading this off the Amazon page, obviously. And it offers a professional h265 video decoding technology it's got dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz if you don't want to plug in the ethernet port and it looks like kd player is basically cody so this is obviously an old version this is 16 i'm assuming point one of cody and uh, obviously we'll be upgrading that uh, from a friend to 17 if he wants to use it um yeah so obviously you got stuff coming up saying it's uh, being marked as not working. Um, so yes, um, I will be right back. So I've just installed CPU-Z and I've switched over to the keypad to try it out. And i got to say it's quite nice. So obviously you've got your arrows on the right and then you just literally touch the touchpad. And there we are, just press that again. And it works pretty fine. So here's all the apps. Um, okay, so this is the first start. So you got your gallery, app installer, browser, CPU Z. I just installed, so this won't be on you. This is so I can test and show you guys in a minute. But everything else is here. So we've got speed test, Netflix, um, Root Explorer. That's what that is. And obviously, you got Twitter, YouTube, and obviously, that looks like Cody, film on live TV. Um, Obviously, you got your App Store there, the Play Store. Over you, we got Music and Cody again. Um, yeah, just a site. Yeah, so there was videos. So that's anything to do with video. That's anything to do with music. So let's get straight into the CPU Z. And um, this is the first time I've actually used this. So this is um, how it's running at the moment. Um, you got your clock speeds hitting um, 1.5 gigahertz, so anywhere between uh, 100 to there. Yeah, you can see it, they're fluctuating between 100 and 1000 per CPU core, and there is all eight cores there. So obviously zero is obviously a core as well. Um, CPU load is only at two percent now, one percent, and yeah, so it's actually doing quite well here. Um, Obviously, an advert. Uh, so let's just use the touchpad and close that down. So, this is a little bit about the device. Uh, there's available storage of 10.08, so 9% of the storage is still available. So, there's 12, uh, 12 gigabyte pretty much uh, internal storage here. Screen resolution that I've got running on is 1080p. So, it, nice that it picks that up. And obviously you got little bits and bobs about the different system and stuff like that. Thermals running at about 49, 48, 49 degrees C, not too bad. And yeah, so looks okay. I'm quite happy enough with that. Uh, let's just go back to the home screen and we will have a little look at the speed test. Um, I think I have got this plugged in wirelessly at the moment. So, uh, begin test. Okay, um, wait there. Yeah, so use the touchpad for this. Bristol is the nearest one. Um, actually, not too shabby. 
Okay, it's going down to 8. Still not that bad. So, ping of 16. I've got Virgin Media, by the way, so I get 200 download speed and about 11 to 12 uploads. So, I'm hitting my upload speed perfectly fine on this. Um, as a matter of fact, yep, so that's not too bad. I will do a uh, actual speed test on my computer. So, that ain't too bad. 7.79 and 11.5. So let's try it now with a wired connection. I just uh, switched over. So here we go. Ping is 58. It looks to be about the same with wired. So maybe it is um, clocking out. All my internet is uh, being a bit slow today. One or the other. Uh, we shall soon see. Um, so download upload seems to be about the same regardless the ping is a bit worse for whatever reason via cable it could just be this cable I've never actually used this cable before and um, so 10.20 and uh, obviously 11.40 upload so not so just done a uh, quick speed test on the computer and as you can see I haven't actually been hit so it looks like this is the maximum the device can actually uh, reach. So just bear that in mind if you're looking at this. So let's get, remove that and uh, we will go back home. And yeah, so that is basically this device. Now um, let's uh, look at basically updating everything. So uh, let me just have a quick look at this. And so updating Kodi was actually very easy. Um, you can see there, when I click on that, it's now the very latest Kodi 17.3 at the current time. This is recorded in July. And all I done was, I went into the Play Store, I uninstalled the previous version of Kodi, and I re-downloaded it, and instantly it worked. All right, so this will be the end of my review uh, here a second. I'm just going to go into YouTube and... We shall get a random video, so uh, whatever this uh, is, we just want to have a quick little nose at it. This is the first time I've actually looked at this. So Sony presents, apparently this is recording in 4K. Um, let's just skip forward a bit. Um, in fact, I'm just pressing that on the button, so... All right, so yeah, it looks very nice. Um, I can't hear it. You guys probably can. So let's just pause that. And uh, the reason I can hear it is because I'm capturing it on the device. And and that is it. So yeah, a very nice uh, look at the uh, design. One thing I forgot to mention, and I'm literally recording this as I speak, Right on the front of the device, there is a um, time. So, in fact, I just took a photograph of it, so it'd be a bit easier for recording purposes. Uh, yeah, there's a little time in blue, and there's also uh, basically like it's a little symbol that tells you the Ethernet port is plugged into the left of it. Um, that hasn't actually been set up yet, so let me just have a little quick look in here, see if we can update the time and date which is right by here. So yeah, 301 is what is currently showing on the front of this device. And uh, 21st of the 7th, oh actually no, that is basically an hour out. So yeah, all I need to do is put the correct time zone in. So let's uh, go all the way down to London. So there we go, obviously I'm in the UK and Instantly, the front device has updated to uh, 4.02, as that is the current time right now, p.m. So, um, another photograph, so I'll just put that over the top here. Um, and that's how you update it. Thank you very much for watching this uh, long process. Um, I've got a few other unboxings already uploaded, so if you, want to hit, if you like this video, hit the like button, comment, let me know... What do you think of it? If it, it was good, bad, if it was things I should have done, didn't do, just uh, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you liked it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.